ETFs are incredibly useful tools that expose our investments to different assets, regions, and industries. And what better way to understand this diversification than by automatically tracking and visualizing it? This ETF portfolio tracker helps us understand where our money is being allocated depending on the ETF we buy. As you can see, this tracker summarizes the performance of our investments, exposes where in the world the holdings within the ETFs are located, in which sectors, and even a breakdown of how our money is being allocated to the last cent. The automation and real-time data extraction help us analyze the allocation and distribution changes as per the market value. We can efficiently study the data to a granular level and produce versatile results that give us a whole picture, or even a story if you will. Let's explore how this tracker works. So let's say we've bought four hypothetical ETFs. We enter the ticker name, the number of shares, the average price we bought it for, and the management fee they charge, or MER. Once we have that information, we can move to the individual ETF analysis tools and add the required information to produce the complete analysis. From the ETF company website like iShares or Vanguard, we then enter the portfolio holdings information. All we need is the ticker, company name, sector, country, and percentage of the holding the ETF follows. I will soon show you an example on how to get this information so you can see how easy and simple it is. We then go to the dashboard tab and enter the total value of our current investment portfolio. You can even link it to another Google Sheet, like this investments tracker to make it fully automated. But I'll show you how to do that on another occasion. Finally, we just write down our target ETF weights. In this example, I've written that I want 70% of the ETF portfolio to be in the SPY ETF and the remaining 30% spread amongst the others. I then write down that I want all my ETFs to be in 80% of my total investment portfolio because maybe I would leave the remaining 20% for cryptocurrencies and individual stocks. But that's up to each investor's personal strategy. And that's it, we've entered our data and the rest of the tracker is fully automated showing us beautiful results. A performance analysis is shown in the summary table followed by versatile charts showing the breakdown and distribution of our ETF portfolio. We can even scroll down to an ETF analysis section so we can avoid jumping through tabs trying to find information. And look, there's even a real-time trendy chart for the ETF. This is the way to understand the whole story of our combined ETF portfolio. Now let's take a look at this map. As you can see, this hypothetical portfolio has a larger location in US stocks. Let's say I want to add another ETF to my portfolio one that will give me more exposure to emerging markets like Africa and Asia. So for demonstration purposes, let's imagine we buy an ETF focused on emerging markets. After investigating, I found this one, which has quite a diversified portfolio in the markets I want to invest in. So now let's enter the data of our hypothetical purchase. ETF name, number of shares, average price, and the management fee. I got the MER of 0.11% by looking up the ETF on Google and clicking on its website. Here we can see the ETF information. This one here is the MER. In this case, they call it the expense ratio. Now that we're here on the website, we need to get the information about the holdings this ETF has. To do that, we go to the holdings section and download the CSV or Excel file with the details. When we open it up, we can see a detailed table of the holdings in this ETF. So we're going to copy the tickers, and paste them in the blank ETF analysis tool we have available. The next piece of information that we need is the name of the companies. We copy and paste them here. Next, the sectors, followed by the country names, and finally the weight or percentage details of its holdings. This table has them in percentages already, so I'm going to open a new column next to it and change them to decimals. This way, when we paste them in the analysis tool, we don't have to convert them back to percentages again. Lastly, we enter the name of the ETF ticker, and voila, the rest of the analysis is done for us. We have performance, breakdown per field, and allocation of our money. If we go back to the main dashboard, we can see how now our exposure to emerging markets in Asia and Africa have been added automatically. All I'm going to do is change my target weights as I've added one more ETF to my portfolio. So let's say I hypothetically would like to divide the four ETFs besides the SPY equally. So 70% in SPY and 7.5% each on the rest. If you would like to download this ready to use tracker in light theme for free, I've shared the link to the file in the description of this video. Make sure to make a copy of the file to have your private tracker where you can edit these hypothetical entries and add your own ETF portfolio. 
To access the tracker in dark and the cyberpunk themes, make sure to visit my Patreon, which is also linked in the description of this video. Your support for my work helps tremendously. This is Planet Finance. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, happy learning.